should be able to drop by. Alright, tell me, what's the plan? Network action or... Fine, fine. How many people are playing? Hey, great. My good friend, player one. Great, that takes care of that. Okay, how about a name for you, player? Alright, that'll do it. Player three, you're it. Hey, you have the same name as one of the twelve apostles. Do any of you need to hear instructions? Well then, we're all done. I'll see you later. Player three, how about a category? The category is Back That Train Up. And you pocket 4,000 bucks if you get this one right. Yep, nothing's more American than a Saturday night date with your sweetheart in the car, driving out to a romantic spot and hooking up. Yeah. When the Union Pacific and Central Pacific Railroad... Player one! Player one! Time to dance, player three. This one's yours. No, that's where the Central Pacific was heard yelling, Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? <laughs> player one, player two, it's open. <laughs> player one. See, and then you wonder why I don't bring my friends over. <laughs> player two, balls in your court. When the Union Pacific and Central Pacific lines hooked up at Promontory Point, Utah, well, the next day, all the kids were talking about the Transcontinental Railroad. <laughs> now, you didn't hear it from me, but apparently Central Pacific saw a lot of action because of that sweet caboose. Player one, tell me what's happening. This is the end of the tape. Turn it over to play side two. And this one is Andrew Lloyd Web Surfer. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. She's pissed. He's pissed. We're pissed. pissed. So pissed, pissed about, about a question. question. We're pissed about... Okay, this pissed about a question letter comes from Anthony G., a resident of Las Vegas who enjoys musicals. He writes, I've been a fan of YDKJ, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here we go. Your question said which of the following animals would not have a starring role in Cats? The answer you chose was Pekingese. But in the London production of Cats, there is a famous act based on Yeats' poem, The Battle of the Peaks and the Pollicles. Okay, Anthony, good point. But what factual error in his letter makes Anthony G. look like an idiot? Cats was never performed in Layer 2. Player three, you gotta answer it. It's P Pekingese is a breed of dog that makes an appearance in the musical Cats. So Anthony was right, and we were wrong on that point, okay? You win, Anthony. We lose, okay? But, you know, just forget about that. What mistake did old Anthony make in his letter that makes us feel better about ourselves? Player one, player two, who's taking it? Take a shot. So, Anthony has a point. He says Pekingese dogs make an appearance in cats. Okay, Anthony, you're right. But, Anthony looks like an idiot because the poems of T.S. Eliot are the source for the musical Cats. T.S. Eliot, Anthony, not William Butler Yeats. <laughs> well, back to the craps table, Anthony. And, uh, hey, heads up on that Miss Saigon tour coming through Vegas. Ah, oh, they're so cute when they try and act smart. Player one, give me a category. Put on your pants for the naked dance. Three. The category, VCR programming and other astronomical feats. This one's going to be $3,000. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. If your Quasar VCR only recorded images of its cosmological namesake, of which of the following would you have plenty of footage? Suddenly bright stars, the third closest galaxy to ours, stellar explosions, or extremely bright heavenly bodies. Go wild, player three! No, that's a Nova. Too bad you couldn't suddenly become a bright star. Player one, player two, who wants it? Go for it, player two! Quasars are bright distant stars. 
And they're about as funny as that ALF rerun you were trying to tape. Buzz in for the value. All right, then, let's see what this does for you. 4,500. I think it's about time to take care of those pesky insects. It's time to bug out. And remember, simply buzz in to kill those bugs that don't belong to the set. And you'll be working up to a final round value of 4,500. Okay, batten down the hatches, because we're heading toward the Windy City. Here we go. TV show is set in Chicago. Buzz in when you see one that's not. <laughs> Chicago Mobsters. <laughs> Songs by the band Chicago. Chicago sports teams. Chicago schools. Began at the Second City Theater. You did so much better than those other two. Come with me, won't you? Okay, we need a category. You're pick player two. Ain't no job. It's question five. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Sexually repressed Commonwealth cultures. Okay, this one might be a toughie. It's worth three thousand bucks. Hang on tight, cause here we go. Which of the following is not a 19th century British euphemism for sex? Fiddle, choggle, huffle, or introduce Charlie? Oh, go for it. Choggle. We made this one up. Player three, hit that buzzer. Plain folder keening flake. No, 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 no. No! No, oh God. Look, this is the last one of these things I'm doing, okay? This is it. Alright? I can't believe Guy actually read any of these things, so I don't know why I'm doing it. Alright, the gibberish category for this question is... Ma caught us drinking and tanned our hides. Now, oh, okay, I guess I gotta tell you how this thing works. Alright, I'm gonna give you a phrase that sounds like gibberish. Now, what you gotta do is buzz in and tell me what does it rhyme with, which is sort of a trick, let me tell you. Now, you're gonna have about 30 seconds to solve this, and the sooner you buzz in, the more money you'll make. Okay, here we go. Tell me, what phrase does this rhyme with? Bet she find the beers. Go for it, player one. Type... Can I be honest with you? I, n I never understood that phrase. I mean, what the hell does that mean anyway? You, you got a terrible perspiration problem? 
All right, let's pick one, Red. This category is known as... Yes, Virginia, there is a big fat man in your chimney. $30,000 for this one. Hey, do you remember the name of Santa's reindeer? Let's see, you got Dasher, Danny, Lingo, Ringy, Bambi? I don't know. Anyway, if Santa Claus is the sun and Comet behaves like... Red! Here come the choppers, Green. What's the answer? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh. All right, Red, Blue, who's going to get it? You go, Blue. A comet's tail always faces away from the sun, so Comet will always face Santa. <laughs> on Dasher, on Dancer, on... Hey, Comet, face front, you freak! Why can't you be more like Rudolph? Value time. Let's see what the value of this question is. Five grand. Let's see what we got going. It ain't over till the urine's been tested. Yes, it's time for another exciting episode of Robot Theater. Today, a scene from sports history. So, Ben Johnson, how does it feel to win the gold medal in the 100-meter dash? Canada must be very proud of you. Well, I don't like to brag about how incredibly fast I am, but stop. We have just received the results of your drug test. You have tested positive for steroids, an illegal substance. Your gold medal will go to the second-place finisher. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who ultimately won the gold medal in the men's 100 meter dash at the 1980? Dutch player three, who do you care to see? Gotta answer it, player one. As if he didn't have enough of them already, Carl Lewis was awarded the 88 100 meter gold medal after Ben Johnson was DQ'd. Carl Lewis also won the 92 gold medal after it was revealed that the winner actually crossed the finish line on a motorcycle. Hey, player three, when you can't successfully screw someone else, you screw yourself. How much you want this puppet new word, player? There you go, kid. Okay, the category is... Looking for love in lowbrow places. Let's see here. Hey, check out this personal ad. Single male in search of anyone who can appreciate Player 2, I know you're dying to screw Oh, ouch, Player 3, what are you gonna do about it? One, two, three. Or... Alright, let's see number 4, please RuPaul, mm-mm, honey RuPaul would never have a mustache <laughs> Player 1, Player 2, who wants this puppy? Go for it, Player 1 yeah, Steve Buscemi's a little too busy starring in independent movies to look for dates. <laughs> player two, you want to take a crack at it? Go for it, player two. You got it. The guy with the mustache who makes all those campy movies like Pink Flamingos and Serial Mom is John Waters. Let's have a category, player two. This category is... Flower is a great way to say I hate you. 3,000 bananas for a right answer here. Okay, let's say a bunch of celebrities are transported back to 15th century England. Because they have the same last name as the two warring... The screw's in your court, player two. In a word, no. Player one, player three, who's interested? Player one. The red rose was the mark of the house of Lancaster. The white rose was the symbol of the house of York. I think those two might fight if Dick finds out it was Samantha Stevens Bert was kissing on the beach and from here to eternity. Player two, it's up to you. And the next question is... 
Flappers, West End Flaps. As far as the sheets available, two grand is up for grabs. Undercarriage down. Let's land this question. You've got a job on the stage door at a production of Cats. Because they are not a cat's cat, which of the following would you not let through the flap? Clear three, it's all yours. <coughs> Jess is the black and white cat of Postman Pat. <coughs> Postman Pat, what a geezer. Did you see that episode where he emptied his sack in the back of his van? <laughs> that was hardcore, man. Player one, pick one. Well, 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 let's delve into question 12. Next up, die, die, die. This question's going to be worth $2,001 bills. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. Which of the following classic childhood games does not require the roll of a die to move ahead? Monopoly, Life, Clue, or Trouble? Player two. You gotta answer it, player Uh, yes, I'd like to direct your attention to your score. Watch closely. Player one, player two. Go for it, player one. The Game of Life. Doesn't have any dice, it's got a spinner. But you gotta love a game where you can sell your kids for money. Player two, what do you want? We're calling this one. Shoplifters should always have spotters. I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. So now let's see. As a kid, you just didn't have the money. As an adult, you just love the thrill. No matter why you did it, at some point in your life, you've taken advantage of a five-finger discount. So don't even try denying it. If the legend that she had 11 fingers is true, which of these historical figures could have... Player one! Very nicely done. Word on the street is that Henry VIII's second wife, Anne Boleyn, had six fingers on her left hand and no head on her neck. Layer two, give me something. Going up, 10, 11, 12, 14. Now serving the monarch's nude clothes. How does $2,000 sound? Think fast. According to the movie, Mrs. Brown, what was Queen Victoria's secret? Queen Victoria... Uh, nah. -uh. Player one. Player one. Now the queen wore underwear, just not as well as the other catalog models. Make your move, player two. After Prince Albert's death, Queen Victoria had a scandalously close friendship with John Brown, their horseman. Which is nothing when compared to what Catherine the Great's secret is supposed to be. Your turn to pick a category, player three. Oh, it's time for Daddy to have a little quality dis or dat time with player three. Players one and two, go to your room. And this dis or dat questions category is, he always gets the meaty rolls. All right, here's the deal. I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, you should probably tell me if it's one of the three tenors or an Italian meat. As each one comes up, if it's one of the three tenors, press one. If it's an Italian meat, press two. And if you want to skip it, press four. I'll give you one K for each correct answer, and I'll give away a thousand bucks for each one you miss or you don't get to. Okay, can I get 30 seconds on the clock? And we're off. Prosciutto, Tepparotti, Tapicola, Pepperoni, Domingo, Salami, You know, you only got four of them right, which is not very reassuring for the rest of the game, is it? Let's look at your new score. Hey, better than losing money. Play one, fuck off, otherwise I'm wasting my time. And now, knockers. And I'll give you £2,000 if you get it right. rat a tat tat Is anyone there? Right, you answer the door and say, Isabella who? Who said knock knock? Nobody. You did. Isabella or Isabella not a working, I use it the knocker. Blatter. That's the punchline, right? That's my area. I do the punchlines, all right? You got that? I demand a response from one or three. You're seriously expecting me to believe that you're answering a door that you knocked. Would you like someone to sit with you for a while? Go for it. 
Yes, you are well knocked up, Isabella. She say a knock a knock. See? <laughs> Ooh, here's one. Murray, Murray, help me out, mate. Knock, knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor who? Doctor Kildare. <laughs> Next question. All righty, Blue. What's it going to be? Spread out, host boy. I'm taking over this ship. Here we go. Please cross with the skilly up, get back skilly up, do. Old man's morning memories. Keep skilly up, get back skilly up, do. Hey! The category is... I dread locks. And it's worth 20000 bucks if you get this one right. So, hey, Bob, what do you think of my new hairdo? Ooh, I'm not sure you're cut out for dreadlocks, old man. Why the change? Ah, you know, I want to get in the mood for the next question, man. Rastafari. Hey, I read. <laughs> Whatever. Go for it. Okie dokie, Rasta dude boy. Uh, hey, when you know the name of this musician, hit the buzzy thing and type in his name, okay? Here we go. He's a real famous player. Go for it, Green. The reggae star is Bob Marley. <laughs> yeah, I remember one time I saw him playing a gig. He asked me to give him a J, so I yelled, J! <laughs> he loved that audience participation stuff. Oh, I miss him. Rastafari. Hmm, I wonder what player two's gonna pick. For your enjoyment, Perry Mason sitting down. How does four thousand dollars grab you? Let's rock. If Raymond Burr's TV detective Ironside had the same qualities as old Ironsides, which scene would we most likely see? Burr bouncing cannonballs off his thighs. Burr winning the triple crown. <laughs> Player one, you've just been screwed. Let's see what you've got. No, although I, I have to admit, the image of Raymond Burr with a riding crop is strangely appealing to me. <laughs> player two, player three, the time is now. <laughs> player three, do it. The oldest commissioned warship afloat, the USS Constitution, got its nickname Old Ironsides in the War of 1812 when British cannonballs bounced off her hull. <laughs> Speaking of floating warships, want to hear Raymond Burr do a cannonball? Player one, your choice. Hey, players two and three, why don't you go give me something to eat? Because I got some business to take care of with player one called a dis or dat. The category for this dis or dat is need new batteries. Okay, I'm going to read off seven items here, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's an electronic organizer or a good old-fashioned vibrator. As each one comes up, if it's an electronic device that brings organization to your life, press 1. If it's an electronic device that brings pleasure to your life, press 2. And press 4 if you want to skip it. I'll give you $1,000 for a right answer, and 1000 is taken away for each incorrect answer, and of course, any you don't get to. Okay, you got 30 seconds. You ready? Let the games begin. Home pilot organizer. Pocket bite mate. Magic wand. Cassiopeia. Leo. Phenom. Last one, Ramrod. That's all set. Well, you missed three, but you got four. Wow, the thrill of mediocrity. Let's look at your new score. Well, it's better than losing money. Okay, let's go on. Player three, give me some category. Oh yes, it's time for your fantasies to be realized. You're joining a three-way. Okay, listen up. This is pretty simple. You're okay, looks like you've been around. I won't bore you with my naivete. Let's turn this baby on. Let's just say this one's known as, you mean Margaret Thatcher? So it seems we'll be joined by the good, the bad, and the ugly. Here we go. And for goodness sake, be careful. Oh, yes! Hey! Oh, 
Looks like that's all we got. Let's see how you scored. You know, I was having such a hard time choosing between the two of you, I decided I like you both best. Now, that's the spirit of a three-way, if I do say so myself. Let's look at our scores now. Well, player one, it looks like you're still strutting your stuff in the lead there. Nice job. Well, it's time to get back to the game. But, uh, you will call me, right? Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, player one press one, player two press zero. Four thousand dollars for a right answer, but if you're wrong, you lose four thousand. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Hey, what's that on your flag? My symbol is a phoenix rising from a flexed bicep. Good luck. Takes it. Great work, player one. You are like some beautifully toned racehorse moving ever forward with one ultimate goal in mind. Player two, you are the steaming pile that gets left behind. But don't feel bad, cause you don't know Jack. That'll do it, folks. What's going on, Donnie? Now, are you folks after training the idea of continuation? Extremely secretive and expensive government research suggests that cats like gum. More on that tonight. This Monday, catch the season six premiere of Farting with the Stars. And this season, we've got our most star-studded cast ever. C, Helen Hunt, Jim Caviezel, Leonard Nimoy, the guy from that one medical show, and the girl from that movie with the guy from Scrubs. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be hot, and it's not gonna smell good. It's Farting with the Stars, where the only thing louder will be the roar of the crowd. Monday at... Excuse me? Monday at 7. Be there. Celebrity Farts Impersonated. 